You could state your name again for the record. You have three minutes. Thank you. Uh, and I have a presentation, of course. Thank you, Billy. Jennifer Savage, Surfrider Foundation. First, Surfrider Foundation is fully supportive of the cease and desist order and consent administrative penalty. I won't ha rehash what staff has already so effectively shared, but please note that on behalf of our more than 100,000 supporters in the state and 25 chapters in college and high school clubs in California, Surfrider fully supports and echoes staff's conclusions. What I will add is emphasis about the need to replace or otherwise resolve the parking that has been lost. So Surfrider Foundation has a long extensive history of fighting for access at Tivoli Cove and Latigo Beach. Our former Southern California chapter manager, Nancy Downs, began surfing at Latigo Beach in 1995 and um, submitted a letter to you all about her experience there over the years. So unfortunately, Nancy couldn't be here with all of her personal knowledge, um, but so I'm telling part of her story, which is essentially a tale of blatant and premeditated and largely successful efforts by Latigo Beach residents to privatize the beach above and beyond what you've already heard. So this was done through um, establishing illegal signage, as you have heard. If you can't read it, but what the, that piece of paper says is no pedestrians or surfers pass this point. I don't know why this had to be distinguished between pedestrians and surfers, but um, clearly, clearly they felt that it did. Um, eliminating historic parking options, which thereby pushed public parking further from the sand before the residents regraded this road and put up the, um, the berm the way they did. Vehicles were able to park perpendicular, so there was really adequate parking. Um, and then in 2004, property owners installed a security guard who refused to allow pedestrian surfer pedestrian slash surfer passage to the beach. And this in particular, I would like to bring your attention to because it's my understanding that a state agency cannot give up authority on state lands that provide or facilitate public access. And maybe you can confirm that with your enforcement staff or with Commissioner Ketchum, um, because that would make Caltrans's 2004 vacating of their right-of-way easement at Latigo Shore Drive via a quick claim deal and illegal surrendering of public land to private interest. And that would be especially egregious given that those private interests took over ownership of the road as a way to further shove the public away from the beach. In this case, all the way back to Pacific Coast Highway. And I did notice this morning that in the response to Nancy's letter in the addendum that enforcement staff or that your staff acknowledges an erroneous vacation of a previously public road and notes that they will continue to attempt to resolve this matter. So this might be a separate issue from what you're voting on today. It's a bit confusing, so forgive my uncertainty, but if there's any, um, in any case with today's enforcement action, hopefully reinstating public access at Tivoli Cove, I didn't want to miss a chance to bring this to light and see if there's room for further rectifying of past violations and additional restitution for stolen public access. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Savage. 